Islam isn't any better than Christianity, nominal Christianity isn't any better than Judaism. It's all foul. It's all rotten to the Lord. It's all to be left behind like I should leave behind my own dung. That's religion. Religion is the bane of man. What is religion all about? It's about man trying to establish his own righteousness with God, even to lay down his life or to give his body to be burned. And he thinks he's going to be rewarded by, by God? Forget it. That's all self-righteousness. It's denying the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God. The Jews denied that, that God had a son. And Islam comes along and they rear up their, their dome, their, uh, their, 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 their Al-Aqsa Mosque, and the, the Dome of the Rock, and they write the words, God has no son. Okay, everybody that says God has no son is damned. The Jews were damned because they said God has no son. They killed the Lord Jesus Christ for, for claiming, as they put it, equality with uh, God the Father. Judaism and, 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 and uh, Islam and, and, and Christianity, it's all rotten to the core. It's all rotten to the core. People don't see it. They believe in a God who will, who will damn people to all eternity, to, in, to, to terrible torment, fire and all. And, and for all time, time without end. What kind of doctrine is that? What kind of God is that? That is ridiculous. Totally, not, that's not just ridiculous. That is horrible. It's blasphemy of the worst kind. You can't say anything worse about God. You can't say anything worse about him. I'll tell you what God is going to do. Ultimately, he's going to save every nominal Christian, every Jew, every Gentile, every Muslim, everyone, Pope, Mullahs, ayatollahs, bishops, pastors, he's going to save them all. He's going to save, I mentioned in the last list uh, when I was talking in one of the videos about Chuck Baldwin. Insanity. The, 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 the replacement theology people? Foolishness. Total foolishness. God is proving them wrong. He's proving them all wrong. Every last one of them. He brings the nation back. It's set up 72 years ago. What do they say about that? All the prophets said these things would happen and that the desert would bloom. They would be called back. And there they are. Can you show me a, another denomination that, or denomination, I'm sorry. Can you show me another eth ethnic group, another group of people, another nation that was scattered to the four corners of the earth and, and, and they're all returning with all their different cultures and skin colors and everything. They're all returning to that land of Israel. <laughs> what? I'm Ukrainian. I come from the Ukraine. This is my fourth generation in Canada. Do I care about, what, Kiev? Do I care? Do most Ukrainians care? No. How about the Chinese? How about uh, Indians? How about Japanese? How about Germans? How about anybody else? That hasn't happened to anybody else. Can you tell me another nation that's been reborn? Who can give a rebirth other than God? And you're telling me that the Zionists are a bunch of uh, criminals? That is crap, total crap. God is doing that. And anybody that stands against Israel, against Jews, is standing against God. Are they something special? No. They're no more special than I am, and I am no more special than they are. But it's God's choice. It's God's doing. You want to argue? Uh, you're, you're, if you want to argue with God, you're asking for trouble. That's all you're doing. You'll only be destroyed opposing him. That's the way it is. But those who... who who are given the grace to see these things and understand them, blessed they are. And God said he'll bless those that bless Abraham's descendants, which, which I am, not as a flesh and blood Jew, but as one by faith in, 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 in the God of Abraham, the Lord Jesus Christ. Abraham saw the Lord's day and was glad. He rejoiced in it, right? He was seeing the Lord Jesus Christ because the Lord Jesus Christ is God. That's what the Messiah is all about. The Messiah is all about God manifesting himself in the flesh. That's the Son of God. God himself giving himself a body for this dimension and manifesting himself to this world, which he did. And now here he is. Now he's come to collect. He, he came to pay 2,000 years ago. That's what he came to do. He came as a lamb led to the slaughter to pay for the sins of everybody. Not just the Jews, but everybody, okay? And now he comes again, and now, now he's here, and I'm representing him. He's here to collect. Now, if you go to the grocery store, 
and you get a bunch of groceries gathered up and you put them on the counter at the cashier, right? And you, you pay for the goods. Tell me, are you just going to get, what, 5% of those goods? And the rest the cashier is just going to take away and throw in the dumpster? Or will you get 10%? Or will you get 20%, 50%, 75%, 90%, 95%, 99%? No, 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 no. You would accuse the cashier or the store, whether it's a grocery store or whatever, of cheating. You'll check the bill and you say, hey, just a minute now. I paid for this and this and this and this. Where's my lettuce? Or where are my socks? Or whatever. No. Jesus Christ paid in full. He didn't dicker with anybody. He didn't uh, wait until it was on sale. He paid the full price. You can't pay a higher price than, than to pay with your own blood. He paid the whole price. Don't tell me he's not going to get it back. Don't tell me he isn't going to get his goods in full. The devil isn't going to walk away with 95% of the goods, like most Christian denominations teach. What a loser they preach. What a bloody loser they preach. And I do mean bloody. They bloodied him. It was by his blood shed for us that we can come to know him as the Lord and Savior. No, he will get everything, everything. As by one man all went into sin through Adam, so by one man shall all come into his favor, into his grace and have renewed fellowship with him. That's the way it is. There comes a time when it's do or die to stand in truth or to tell.